Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, welcome to Earth. Full Earth is a 9.1% double New England style IPA from Old Nation Brewing Company in Williamston, Michigan. I've reviewed every Old Nation IPA in their New Orthodox IPA series, except for Me My. Some of those old reviews are a little embarrassing. I'm looking at you, M43 Review, and some have changed their names. Does anybody else remember Boxer? So when I saw that Old Nation was releasing another one in the series, this time another double New England style IPA that would be different from Boss Tweed, I, I it perked up my ears, I kept my eyes peeled, and I picked it up as soon as I could. Now, if you've watched any of my other New England style IPA reviews, I think you could probably say that I hold M43 as one of the best in the style in Michigan, maybe the best one overall that I've had so far. I'm a huge fan of what uh, Old Nation is doing in the style, and I'm really hoping that Full Earth pushes the style even further. So while this is a Full Earth review, I'm also going to bring out another big gun to compare it to, and that is, my friends, you guessed it, Boss Tweed. Boss Tweed's the first double New England style IPA that Old Nation released, and I'd say probably the closest thing to a direct competitor that Old Nation produces. So we'll get into the label in both of these. Well, I'm going to get into the label of Full, full Earth because everybody pretty much knows what the boxer label looks like, and then we'll get into the beer. But before we do that, I just want to say that if you're enjoying this beer content, be sure to share and subscribe, like the video. I want to bring you the best Michigan beer content twice a week, and with your input, I think that should be pretty easy. So let's get into this thing. And like I said, we're not going to really look at Boss Tweed because I've gone back before. You can find a link to Boss Tweed probably in the corner uh, later in the video and in the description below this video. So let's get into Full Earth's label and give it kind of center stage here. So it has, just like the others, it has this uh, don't freak out kind of label with the sediment tells you to roll the can and I'm just going to roll them both right now. I, I, I never really rolled them before. I honestly, I kind of feel this is like a gimmick to roll these cans like this, that it's going to do anything, but we're just going to do it because the label says so. And the Full Earth label is really very similar to the other uh, New Orthodox IPA series that Old Nations put out. It This one has Full Earth. The Earth is in this. Well, for, Full Earth and all the other stuff on here. Well, actually, Full Earth is in black. It has kind of this, like, um, Doppler kind of effect. And the Earth is green. And all the words, except for Full Earth, are all in green. So this is a double India Pale Ale. I didn't notice previously if they have on the side here this little uh, double India Pale Ale logo. Uh, indicator basically i noticed on the tart strawberry and then i noticed it on cart horse but i don't know if the old ones like the old greenstone label had that on here and this is a 9.1 percent alcohol by volume 50 ibus uh the malts they used are pills wheat oat and rice the boil hops are columbus centennial cryo laurel and dry hopped columbus centennial cryo laurel and cryo simcoe keep cold and drink fresh haze is good and that's what they say on all these so uh, again, proudly brewed and bottled in Williamston, Michigan. So I'm going to crack this one. I'm just really looking forward to cracking this open. I'm going to grab two pint glasses. I don't have fancy glasses because I don't really have two matching fancy glasses I can use. And I'm going to open up Full Earth first. I'm going to open both up before I, before I drink them, though, because I want to have a real side-by-side -side taste. And I'm going to give it a smell here out of the can. And it does actually smell a little bit earthier. The dankness is really deep in this one. So I'm going to go ahead, and go ahead and pour this. Very nice yellow coloring. Ooh, bubble, bubble, bubble. And it's really, of course, hazy. It's got about a finger, maybe half a finger ahead. Really nice white head. That is totally opaque. There is no seeing through that whatsoever. I can see the shadow from my fingers in front of the light. That is full earth. Full earth. A nice yellow, close to orange color of the beer. And we're going to open up Boss Tweed. Uh, by the way, this full earth was uh, packaged on 53018. It is Sunday, June 10th, as I'm recording this. This is 52418. So. These are really close together. I'm gonna crack this one. This is the Boss Tweed, which we all know and love. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this one. It looks a little bit lighter coming out of the can, but we'll see once it collects. And I didn't smell it, I'm sorry, ahead of time. A 
again, about the same head, maybe a tiny bit more. Head subsided really quick on this, but it is kind of, you see some little kind of clusters of bubbles on the top here. Again, really, this is a little shade darker, a little bit more on the browner side, orangish brown, a nice white head, as you would expect. Uh, again, opaque, totally. Let's give the, let's give Full Earth the, the full treatment here. It smells a little bit more, um, has a little bit more of a, a hoppy kind of scent to it. I almost inhaled that through my nose, wow. Okay, and let's give Boss Tweed a scent here. Let's give it a nose. Very dank. This one leans a little bit more towards the citrus end of the hoppiness. Or I mean, the smell is more citrus. This one's a little bit more piney, a little more dank, a little earthier. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Full Earth a, a drink, a taste here. And then I'm gonna give my critique of it, my, my review. Okay, so this, that hoppiness, that bitterness kind of hits you right up front. It has this kind of acidic punch, and then that subsides. I was thinking because it's full earth, I'd get more of a earthy hoppiness out of it, but I'm not really picking much of that up. It's got this real acidic sweetness up front. So the mouth feels, this the kind of old nation mouth feel, right? It's a little bit thick, thick to medium, not super thick, not syrupy, but not light, not fluffy. It's kind of, it's kind of uh, cloudy, like a cloud in your mouth, you know, it, it really envelops your tongue. Nine point one percent. There's a little bit of a booziness on the tail end. I guess it is a little bit lighter than Boss Tweed. I, I thought maybe it was reversed. So this has a little bit more of a boozy kind of quality on the back end. You get the nice citrusy hoppiness. But it is super juicy up front. Lots of citrus, pineapple, mango. You get some a lot of orange rolled in there, and then the back end, the hoppiness is citrus. Uh, it has a little bit of a boozy bite to it, but not too much. That bitterness is in there, but it's not overpowering. It's it's nice and smooth, but it's definitely in there. You will pick up on the bitterness. So that is Full Earth. Uh, let's go ahead and give Boss Tweed another shot. Again, this is more, I get a little bit more of the citrusy kind of nose on this where this one was more dank. And this is very dank as well, don't get me wrong, but let's go ahead and give it a taste. Much sweeter on the front end, the same kind of mouthfeel though, medium to thick, uh, cloudy, like, you know, fluffy on your mouth, not light, not thin, not a thin mouthfeel. but it is quite different. So where Full Earth was a little bit more acidic in that sweetness, this is just sweet through and through. It's a lot smoother, it's a lot cleaner. It does kind of pick up a little bit on the, those kind of acidic qualities, but this, but Full Earth, is much more acidic, much earlier. Uh, it's juicy, but Boss Tweed's juicier. It's a little bit more flavorful. It's got a little bit more sweetness. Uh, it's more of the kind of the same kind of taste, the same citrus, the same kind of pineapple mango tastes in there. They're they are very similar, but again, Full Earth kind of hits you up front with more acidi acidity. Hits you more on the tail end with more of that boozy quality. Boss Tweed, even though it's a little bit higher ABV, there is little to no booziness at all. To be honest, I don't pick up, if, if I didn't know this was 9.3%, I wouldn't take a drink and automatically think, whoa, 9.3%. 
get ready, where's my chair? Uh, it's not like that at all. And now I'm gonna do one right after the other. So I'm gonna do Full Earth first, then I'm gonna do Boss Tweed, and we're gonna see you know, what the major difference is. So again, Full Earth first. Yeah, much more piney bitterness on Full Earth. There is a lot of citrus sweetness up front, but the aftertaste, the bitterness is more piney. Boss Tweed here. A little bit smoother, a little bit more juicy, a little less boozy, and more citrus bitterness on the tail end. If I, you know, if you blind taste tested me and you told me that you were gonna give me a full earth and a boss tweed, I think I could tell that they were two different beers. But if you just put one in front of me and you said, hey, which one is this? Is it full earth? Is it bo boss tweed without having a lot of, you know, tasting it recently? I'd be really hard pressed to tell you the difference. I think for me, the way that I can tell the difference is that Full Earth is more piney, Boss Tweed's more citrusy on the tail ends. That's where they really change, and the booziness, the boozy quality to it. Full Earth has that more boozy quality, and Boss Tweed has a little less booziness to it. But, I mean, either way, you can't go wrong. I know that Boss Tweed's kind of being retired for the, for the summer. I think it's going to come back in the fall, I think I've read or heard. And I don't know if that means that Full Earth is gonna be around a lot more, but either way, they're very good. I think I would rather have Boss Tweed as a summertime beer. I still think I favor Boss Tweed a little bit more just because I like that sweetness. I like that juiciness. I like the citrus finish more than I like the piney finish and the booziness of Full Earth. But either one is very good. They're very similar. There's not much different between the two. Again, I think most people, especially if they're not super enthusiasts or beer nerds or beer geeks, they're not gonna really notice that much of a difference. If they like Boss Tweed, I think that's the first thing, or if they like M43, that's the first thing, then you can kind of splinter off on the two. But somebody who is not well-versed and doesn't know the difference between the two probably isn't gonna pick up much on either, so you could introduce them to either. But again, I think if I had my pick, if, if my desert island, if I could pick one of the two of these, I think I would go Boss Tweed over Full Earth. They're both, they're both very, very good. Full Earth is very good, but again, I think that the scale, just on my tastes, they, they lean a little bit more on Boss Tweed. All right, friends, that has been Full Earth and Boss Tweed, but this is the Full Earth Review, the latest in the New Orthodox series of beer from Old Nation. What's the best New England or double New England style IPA that you've had, and have you had Full Earth yet? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and again, if you like what you're watching, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more Michigan beer content every Tuesday and Thursday. You can also find links to my social media, like my Instagram or Untapped, links to some of my merch, and my blog at GiraffeTherapy.com. So until next time, I'm Sean from Giraffe Therapy, reminding you to drink craft beer, support your local breweries, and don't forget to treat yourself. Two little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.